What is up, mathletes? So you want to get better at math. You came to the right place. All right, so let's talk about the big topic that millions of people across the world want to improve on, getting better at math. All right, so today we're going to have a, a short little summary here, and we're going to talk about the big hitters, all right? The big hitters in terms of improving how uh, you study for math and how you get better at math. So the first thing I want to talk about, and you've probably heard many times, is math is not a spectator sport. You can't go into class, you can't sit back and be like, teach me, I'm ready to do this. Nah, you got to get your hands dirty, right? And that's what so many people get wrong. I've been teaching for over two decades now, and the common thing that I see is some people, they feel a little overconfident, and it's their approach that they're m missing the mark, right? And it's the approach of how do we work with math? So here's, here's a couple things. If you're in a class or you're about to take a class, depending on your situation, no, regardless of your learning, right? So when you're in class, for those of you, the majority of you uh, taking a math class, is you gotta pay close attention and you gotta really block everything out. Emotions, anything going on at home, you gotta be focused in because what happens is we're, we're so easily distracted, right? Something passes by and we're like, squirrel, and our attention is diverted, all right? And with math, like anything else, it requires our undivided attention. So when you're in class, you have to be paying close attention to these little details because sometimes it's these gaps, right? It's these small gaps that lead to this massive amount of confusion everywhere, all right? So um, staying focused in class, and that could be hard to do, especially nowadays with all these electronics and phones going off and messages, right? That's why it's important to remove distractions. All right, number two, when you're taking notes, whether it's from YouTube, whether it's from class, you gotta learn how to take good notes. Make sure your notes make sense to you. You're the audience. So when you look back at your notes, right? You're not just copying blindly what someone's writing. You're making sure that your notes make sense to you. So basically what you're doing is you're translating what's on that board, what's on that screen, and you're making everything makes sense to you because you're the audience of one, all right? So when, I, when I'm talking about uh, math formulas and ideas in my class, my main job is to help you dissect and to break down these ideas so that you're able to translate them and write them down to you. Like, oh, what does this mean? This means boom, boom, boom. And you put it in your own words, right? Uh, because again, you're the audience. So, uh, the next thing, you got to work on homework problems, right? Like anything else, you have to get your hands dirty because what happens is so many times people will come to me or come, they'll have this feeling of, oh man, when everything was explained on the board, I understood everything. And that's equivalent, right? <laughs> that's just like me saying, man, you know what? I saw Michael Jordan shoot those shots and man, it looked easy. I saw uh, Steph Curry shoot those threes. It looked easy. You gotta practice them yourself. There's no way you're gonna be able to replicate that unless you go in there and you practice the heck out of something. But you gotta be careful. It's not just about the practice and we're gonna talk about that, right? So you gotta get your hands dirty. What I always tell people, right? And here's my experience because I've been kicked out of school before for academic reasons. Why? Because I, sacrifice or excuse me i put work ahead of my education so i rather made i made money versus focusing on what school was so basically my focus wasn't on the math and so how did i go from getting kicked out from being a f student from continuing graduating get my master's and becoming an a student what was the big difference and it was about my focus not about how i did homework not a, not only about how i uh, worked on problems is what were those extra things that I did that turned that turned on the the beast mode right what made Johnny go into beast mode right and so those are the things I want to talk about part of a big game is once I figured out 
man, I got to do this regularly. So I got a regular schedule. And I didn't study just before exams. No, no. After every uh, class, I pretended like I was going to have an exam the next day on the material that I just learned. And I couldn't move on until I learned that material. We want to work on understanding principles, right? In math, do not memorize because what happens is everyone starts to try to memorize it, start to memorize that. And when you stop trying to memorize and focus on understanding, that changes everything. Because when you understand how something works, you don't have to memorize it, right? You understand the principles. And when you're doing the math, it makes sense versus, oh, what do I do next? If you have that mentality, oh, what do I do next? Oh, I remember seeing this before. No, things don't work that way. When you understand how something operates, then you know, oh, you know what? This, I understand that I, I need to do this, right? You, you're able to walk yourself through a problem versus just memorizing formulas and memorizing steps. Because what happens is I could change the problem on you, right? We could change the problem or we might get a new problem that's very similar to the old problem, but because it looks a little different, all that memorization is useless because, wait, now this doesn't look exactly like this problem over here. And what do I do? No, if you understand the goal, you understand the objective, and you know how to use the tools that you've developed, then that's gonna take you very, very far in mathematics, all right? So we, we need this understanding because you're gonna be faced with hundreds of formulas, as you already know. And part of the key is knowing when to use them, how to use them, and so much more. And once you have that understanding, that really changes the whole game. It changes your plan of attack. It changes your mentality, all right? So we need to work on understanding principles, all right? And don't move on until you understand these principles. It all starts with you being able to ask questions, right? Hopefully you have a great teacher uh, that allows you to ask questions and embraces those questions. And you want to get, right? You don't want to be confused. You don't want to have these doubts. You want to be able to ask your questions. Uh, but if you're not in a situation where, you know, that's allowed uh, for time or whatever the reasoning may be, then you have to think outside the box, right? You have to be creative. Uh, there's YouTube, right? YouTube, you, there's plenty of people on YouTube where you could uh, find great videos, explanations of those ideas, I promise you. Uh, study groups, you have to take initiative. You have to form study groups. That was, again, one of the things that I did that really helped me because part of this is going to be a struggle and it's better to struggle when you're in a group, right? When you have resources, when you have support. Because when you're out there struggling by yourself, it really sucks, right? Um, finding a, a tutor. A lot of these schools, whether it's K through 12, right? I have tutors at the school site. In college, uh, I used to run a learning center, math learning center for over 10 years. And we have great tutors uh, to help students out. And now that I'm just focused on, on teaching, I still send my students to all these wonderful tutors that there are available, all right? So find these resources, whether it's online, YouTube, study groups, right? You have to become creative, but don't move on, right? Don't just settle with getting stuck and saying, I quit. That's the no-no. Make sure, we said this earlier, but I'm gonna say, make sure to do the homework after class. So that might mean a bunch of different things because all of us are in different situations. So um, what I have here is I have a, a learning curve. So this tells us um, how much retention. So after a certain amount of time or days, and, t and days, excuse me, that pass by, it tells us how much we forget. So after about 24 hours, excuse me, after about 24 hours, you lose, you forget about 70%. That's pretty scary of what you learned, right? So much of what we learn is forgotten in a short amount of time. And you can see that this is exponential decay, right? You forget really, really fast. So about 94% is forgotten in about a week. 
So studies have shown, you know, the, the quicker you get to practicing what you just learned, right? The way our brains work and the way memorization works and understanding is you have to get that practice in, I would say immediately. And humans are, are creatures of, of habit. And so the thing that I see happening so often is people just quitting, throwing in the, the flag and saying, I quit. All right. So, and, and look what it says here. If you quit when things get tough, it just makes it that much easier to quit next time. And that is the opposite attitude of what you need for math. Actually, most, most things, right? So you, in math, you have to be ready to make mistakes, right? You have to be okay with making mistakes. You can't have a huge ego, right? Throw that out the door. Um, you got to be patient with yourself. You gotta say, you know what? Some of these things are gonna be very challenging. So you have to be ready to embrace that challenge. And that's what learning is about, right? If everybody knew all this stuff, then right, we'd live in a different world. No, we're struggling in this together. Some people are just better. They've learned to struggle uh, better than others, right? And you gotta be ready to get stuck. Even the mathematicians, right? The higher you get in math, the more you're gonna get stuck and you gotta be okay with that because it's a battle in terms of understanding. There's so much work, right? It's not a piece of cake or everyone would be doing it. There's so much work going behind the scenes that people aren't seeing. So these are just a, a few tips here that hopefully you could take uh, some pieces, apply it to your game. Uh, because again, math is a beast. There's a reason why so many people struggle with it. It's not an easy thing and you, ha you have to be okay with that. All right, and you have to be up for the challenge. So again, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you look at our videos, we have so many videos and more coming in so many different topics. So comment down below and let me and my team know what kind of videos are you looking for so we could further help you out. Hopefully you found this helpful. Go ahead and give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you mathletes in the next video. Peace.